Performing immigration clearance. Managing the e-channel service. And detecting and prosecuting law offenders are just some of the main duties of an immigration officer. The Immigration Service Institute of Training and Development houses mock environment training facilities to prepare aspiring officers for their duties. Yep. To further enhance their skills, the Institute and the Open University's Li Ka Shing Institute of Professional and Continuing Education co organized three professional training programs for immigration assistant grade officers. The three programs, which provide training in immigration control and management, were successfully accredited as qualifications framework programs. I have been with the department for 20 years. In June, the department selected me and 26 other colleagues for the accredited training program for chief immigration assistance. Upon completion, I acquired the qualifications meeting the level 5 accreditation standard. I'm happy about that. Mr. Ko added that the program had given his career a new sense of direction. As I work at the airport and deal with people, I found the course on emotional management skills to be very useful. It taught us to remain calm and peaceful when listening to the needs of passengers. Also, the course taught us team building skills. Because of this, I understand the strengths and weaknesses of my team members. This helps me allocate manpower appropriately. I hope to further study disciplined service management so I can apply for a promotion to officer grade and contribute more to the department and the city. The three training programs meet the accreditation standards of Level 4 and Level 5 under the Qualifications Framework and are aimed at Chief Immigration Assistants, Senior Immigration Assistants, and newly recruited Immigration Assistants. Associate Degree holder Kelly Leung applied to become an Immigration Assistant and recently completed the training. The induction training is rich in content. Tactical training impressed me the most. We got to learn resistance control tactics, such as the use of appropriate force. When we are on duty, sometimes we may encounter resistance and in such cases, we have to respond swiftly and effectively, protecting ourselves while avoiding unnecessary harm to the people resisting law enforcement. A total of 150 people have graduated from the Qualifications Framework accredited program so far. The Immigration Department plans to seek accreditation for its other training programs as well. In the policies addressed last year, the Chief Executive stayed the lead to further strengthen and drive the development of the Qualification Framework, enhance recognition of qualifications for different industries and provide young stars with quality assured pathways for further studies and career development. In view of such, the Immigration Department has been committing to provide flexible and diverse learning pathways to members of the Immigration Service to further enhance their quality, to promote continuous learning culture and their personal development. With the commissioning of three new control points, the implementation of the citywide identity card replacement exercise and other operational needs, Mr. Cheung said, the department can establish an additional 700 disciplined service member posts for the current financial year. The department will deploy more than 1,000 staff to the new immigration control points. <laughs>